All right, hello and welcome to That's The Point, where we endeavor to talk about construction technology and how to get the very most out of it. My name is Corey Meyer, and I'm here with our in-house smart guy, Gian Lopez. What's up, man? Oh, thank you for that. Thank you. You owe me lunch for that. What are you talking about? Oof. So so we're kind of in a tripod theme the past couple episodes, and here we are with just one more, and this concerns tripod applicability. Now, I know that sounds pretentious, so how about this? Different tripods are good for different things. So, exactly. <laughs> so... We wanted to talk today about this because every tripod doesn't work in every situation, and specifically when we're talking about layout. You know, we've got, we've got our traditional fiberglass tripods like we'll get to in a second, but then we have this carbon fiber tripod, which we traditionally use for standing, works great in that application, not so much for layout. Let's talk about that, Jay. So what happens is you need to have your right tripod, obviously, for the right piece of equipment. So for our robotic total stations and our eyes, a carbon fiber set of Gitzo legs or a tripod they're way too thin, way too lightweight. I see you kind of in cold sweats right now. I am. I'm holding this thing on for my dear life. I hate to see this like this. So essentially when we have this piece of equipment, when you turn on just like your eye or when you're actually turning on your robotic total station, there is going to be some movement. It's going to initialize some of the components inside of the robotic total station. And all that vibration is just going to be sent down the leg and then back up and it's gonna start vibrating or humming. And that is only if you're stable here on a piece of concrete by yourself. Imagine being on a deck. Like it's gonna get a little bit more intense. And that's, that's actually what we're simulating here. So we've actually got it connected up to some of our service software where we can actually trigger that and simulate the job site conditions and vibrations and stuff. Yes. And if we actually listen to this, you can actually hear and see this instrument trying so hard to level up using the tilt. And if we're actually quiet for a second, Yeah, you can actually hear the legs vibrating, and it's actually pushing that. If you look up here, if we can get a camera angle in here, we can actually see this little, the little end cap is moving because this instrument is fluctuating so hard trying to get itself into, into a stable condition. And that does a lot of stuff long-term for the instrument as well. It does. It's going to create a lot of wear and tear for the unit. So the tilt compensator is also accompanied by two accelerometers which detect vibration. All you're really doing is now making the tilt compensator work extra hard. Even if you are able to get a stable base set up, the equipment is just going to compensate for any error that it sees or it detects. And even so, you're just basically making these components work a lot harder. So the longevity probably get cut in half. Let's go to our more traditional Trimax fiberglass real quick. Let's switch out the unit, do the same test, and talk about the differences there. <laughs> same vibration test on the Trimax tripod and if we're quiet got no sound we're not hearing the, those accelerometers going crazy we're not seeing any vibration right here it's completely stable it's kind of what we'd expect that's what we wanted we're using the right tool that's going to actually dampen some of that vibration and actually just create more of a stable base for our robotic And station. with that stable base, then, then we can take advantage of the tilt compensation. We can then know, know that the instrument is going gonna, is gonna to then compensate for any of our mistakes, and that's why it's so important to have that stable platform to begin exactly. with. Exactly. So, so right tripod for the right piece of equipment. And that's really, if you take away nothing else today, it should be this. The accuracy and longevity of your RTS, if it matters to you, and you have a Trimble, so we think it should, then choose your tripod wisely. It's not just sticks in a table for throwing your sensor on top of. Hey, Gian, thank you for not saying no and actually coming in and doing this today. Oh, you're welcome. You're thinking about lunch. I you, am. You do owe me lunch. <laughs> yeah, so. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button, stay up to date with the latest tips, tricks, and pointers that we post here. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on That's the Point.